right, let's get comfortable. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. All right, I just saw The Lion King, and The Lion King is one of my favorite movies. Now, Beauty and the Beast is just my favorite anime, not anime, I do love anime though. Uh, animation, Disney animation, just because it just, I love Beauty and the Beast, but The Lion King has such a special place in my heart the animation i had to we just saw it and i had to get on and tell you my first thoughts about it this has no spoilers in it i will talk about the animation and hopefully you've seen the animation uh which i would suggest seeing that if you haven't before you see the movie unless you want a clean slate all right let's talk about let's first start off with something good it's always great oh my gosh guys technically this movie is amazing beautiful uh color wise just make sure you see it in like dolby or you know not just in standard definition like this is a beautiful movie technically like you you feel like you're watching national geographic the lions, all the animals just look so absolutely real, which is a credit to Disney and their team. It's beautiful. However, with The Lion King, a lot of the movie is about the emotion, you know, that they give off. And so what they did was Unlike the Jungle Book, I love the Jungle Book uh, live action. What they did was keep the lion's face as a lion's face. So the expression that Simba has when he says, let's go around the water hole is the same expression as when Mufasa dies. Like it's, there's a lack of emotion on the lion's face as it would be in real life, but when you're, when you're trying to, the voice has the emotion, but the face doesn't. And so it was kind of like, okay, I'm watching National Geographic and people are talking for the animals with the animals just doing their own thing, kind of. Does that make sense? So it's kind of like, It's kind of like me keeping my face blank and talking about how excited I am about what's going on and and I can't even do it. But if I if my emotion from the inside is talking about how excited I am about going to see the Lion King and oh my gosh, but my face doesn't exude it, it just is this and my mouth is moving, but the emotion from my voice is still being exuded. It's it's weird and it's kind of like, I don't know what to do with that, you know? So yeah, I didn't cry when Mufasa died. I didn't, you know, the story is about the same. And the beginning though, I was like, oh, okay. They start off with the nod, you know? And I'm like, ah, it's happening. And I was like, man, why does it feel so lackluster? Why does it feel slower and it's not as intense uh, as the original, the, the song? Um, but yes, so the movie, the movie was slower too. Like the characters spoke slower and some of the dialogue was changed. Um, and the songs. So the songs weren't bad. They have some of our wonderful songs in there, which is great, uh, the majority of them. I love the songs, but in the movie, in this live action remake, so they added like riffs and I wanted the CD version instead of the live version. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You know how uh, Christina Aguilera is a good example of this because on her, you know, I'm go. I went way back to CDs. 
on her, you know, iTunes version, she just sings it straight and plain. You, she holds the note. There is no ups and downs and no extra riffs. Uh, but in concert, she'll add all this extra stuff. I wanted the iTunes version for the movie, but the movie had Beyonce did riffs and kind of up and downs and and so did, uh, Donald Glover. Um, it was. Um, and I felt like you took away from the song with adding the extra. Do you know what I mean? That's just my opinion. Um, but yes, the movie was a little slower. The voices were different. Um, the best part was, of course, when James Earl Jones came on, you know, and his voice just, and it just brought back to when I was, you know, if you're an 80s or 90s kid, and you went to go see the original cartoon and you're just like, oh my gosh, this movie is just so powerful. And James or Earl, Earl Jones voice emotes and you just, oh my gosh, you know. Um, yeah, so he, when he came on the screen, even his, his voice was amazing. But again, the face was just mouth moving cheeks go up and down a little bit, but there was no emotion in the face. They didn't change that, which I, I wish kind of they did like the Jungle Book a bit so that they would both coincide. Again, National Geographic with people talking <laughs> kind of for the animals. Um, and sometimes because you knew the voices, not James Earl Jones, because he is Mufasa and he is Darth Vader, you know, <laughs> It, it was like, oh, no, this isn't knowledge. Beyonce's talking. And so you had to get back kind of into the character and try and separate the voices. So like Seth Rogen was uh, Pumbaa, and you're like, no, that's Seth Rogen. No, it's Pumbaa. You know, it, so that was interesting. Um, and not that they did a bad job. That's not what I'm saying at all. It just kind of took you out of the took you out of the character and put you into, oh, this is this specific actor because I, their voice is so distinctive. Um, the hyenas, I wish they were as funny as they were in the cartoon. There was some comical moments, but not really. I like my, my husband goes, no, they were just more menacing. Um, it was, um, let's end on a good part, um, is I, I felt like, again, it was visually stunning, visually beautiful, just gorgeous, but the movie was just okay, and it just, the nostalgia of it all, there were moments, but not really. Overall, I'm, I think this movie's gonna have to grow on me. I think that's what's gonna happen, um, I just have to watch it a few more times probably, but I'm definitely watching the Lion King animation tonight. <laughs> That's happening. <laughs> uh, to get that feeling back, that feeling of just, oh, this is, this is it. This is the feeling I was looking for in the movie. So for those who are looking for this to be like the animation, the story is, is basically exactly the same just the feeling is different and so you might be disappointed I wish I I wish I went in knowing a few things so that I could my mind would be right and ready to take in what they were giving me instead of what I thought that I was going to be getting which is you know that emotion and that same, yeah, basically emotion that I got from the first one, which is kind of unfair. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, should you go see it? You definitely should go see it. I mean, it's The Lion King. Yeah. 80s, 90s babies, definitely got to go see it. Um, but the nostalgia... 
yeah, not completely there. It's mainly, man, it bugged me that the faces of all the animals were just kind of blank. They just, the emotion for the voices just did not match the faces. And they were trying to just stay real to the real animals. But I wish they animated it a little bit, you know, to help with the feeling. So, yeah. Yeah, I had to get that out to you guys. Um, so... I hope that helps you guys figure out if it's something you want to see or not. I think you should go see it because it is The Lion King. Um, but just be prepared. <laughs> no pun intended. Which the Be Prepared song is different. Yeah. Everything's not the same. So, yeah. I hope you guys have an amazing night. If I release this tonight or if I'm releasing it tomorrow, have an amazing day. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah, I was just, in all honesty, I was just disappointed throughout just about the entire movie. And I, I yeah, yeah.